Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Red Tool House. Today we are hard at work, aren't we, Kel? We are. We are working hard. I love it. Uh, we are, we're taking a, um, we actually got a break between rain. It's been raining nonstop for what, the last 432 days? Yes. Yeah, something like that. It's been raining nonstop all morning, all night, creek's a little high, all that type of stuff. Uh, so our plan was to work on our, our chicken uh, hoop house, greenhouse, whatever you want to call it. We documented that in a previous video. But instead, in between rainstorms, Kelly and the boys are stacking up all this wood in the barn that we milled uh, last week, video here. And we're going to go ahead and work on the board and batten siding of the loft. So we can, because we can actually do all that undercover, uh, undercover of the barn. Am I in your guys' way? No. Okay. Go ahead, carry on. Um, so be able to do that in case it starts raining again, which we looked at the radar. There's another uh, pretty good storm coming here in the next hour. So we'll be underneath the barn and be able to get that finished. All right. We have some light for the barn. What is it? Do we have some light for the barn? I need no stinking light. Middle of the day. Well, as you can see from this angle, <clears throat> up at the loft portion, we've got board and batten siding. I did that last year, I believe. So we've got a good bit of that side closed in. Well, the south side is completely open. So we're gonna finish that out. Uh, we've got plenty of boards. May not have enough battens. I may have to rip some down, uh, but we can put that together there and, and get that a little bit more weathered in. So board and batten, for those of you not familiar, board and batten is basically just vertical planks nailed to the wall. And then the battens are just smaller boards that are nailed over top of those, those butt areas, those seams. So when the board shrinks or when you've got natural gap there, then that batten's covering that up. And you can kind of see up there, obviously it's far away, uh, what that looks like. But we'll, we'll do an example here. So for example, if this was a wall that I was closing in and I've nailed this first board up, then I'd take the second board, of course, and try to butt it up as much as possible here and, and uh, nail that together. So you had to get it snug there. Nail that together and it's going to have obviously a little bit of a crack there. Now granted it's not flush because it's just leaning up against, but then you would take your batten board and then you just nail it over that seam. So you get this nice, clean look, finished look there. And it also allows for, for the green wood. Many of you have asked in our last video, are we worried about green wood or what are we going to do with this wood green? Are we going to have to wait till it dries before we can use it? Well, in this situation, we're going straight to the barn. We're going to stick it on there and it will shrink. You can see back here where I haven't finished putting battens on the back of the barn. You can see the cracks and uh, the wood has actually shrunk a little bit. Uh, to expand, expose those gaps even more, but the battens would cover that up. I, I cut my battens about two inches wide. So that'll be the plan. That'll finish it out and make it look clean. Are you covered in wet sawdust? Uh, no. You're not? Yeah, that's a... I mean, I, it's dried off. Yeah, so. I mean, this, all this wet sawdust and how it's abrasive. It's like being at the beach is what it reminds me of. <laughs> Does this remind you of being at the beach? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking, wow, this is just like being at the beach. <laughs> You know, you and I, we always think so much alike. Exactly. <laughs> All right. All right, so how we're going to do this, I've got my coffee can of nails and my hammer. I'm going to go up top, shout down measurements to Kelly and the boys, and they're going to make the cuts for me and hand it up. And since I'll be reaching through the loft, we'll do board, then batten, board, then batten, whereas um, some people do all boards and come back and do the battens. Just had a little more rain to make everything squidgy around here. Ooh, that wood is slickery. All right, Kelly, we're gonna start with a batten, and we need these should be. I say consistently, but you know how that goes. 32 inches. So you can give me a board, a batten, a board, and a batten. Give me, uh, and go four or five deep if you want. Yeah. Now remember, you want to you don't want that spanning between two blocks where you cut is. You want to move that pencil line out toward Liam, past that block. There you go. 
That'll keep it from being pinched. And this is tall enough that it's not going to hit that board on the bottom? Yeah, if it does, it's no big deal. That's a bit longer than that. What is it? Because you can't. Check that out and see what you think. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. See, the, look at my line. Yeah, that's right. When I'm building a <laughs> clock here. <laughs> you can only get what your labor produces, right? Here's the first nail. <laughs> Where's my tape measure? <sighs> What's the matter? <laughs> Do you see it, Liam? Did I knock it off? Did I cut it? Here it is. <laughs> Did you get me a board yet? Yep. That looks good. You might even push the top a little towards the front. Just a smidge. There, that's good. Okay, so we got uh, this side finished out. Uh, except for this piece here. I'm going to have to rip that down to fit it in to match my corner. So uh, I'll probably do that last when I come back down to rip everything. And we're going to go over here to the other side and start working on that side. Okay, so Kelly and the boys and I, we got all the both sides of the barn loft closed in with the board and batten. And no, the temperature didn't drop 60 degrees uh, over the course of one day. 
I recorded the closing uh, when we finished and my mic battery died. So following up a couple days later, West Virginia, the weather changes like crazy. But we uh, got it all closed in. What's really neat is we only used out of the 37 boards that we cut from that one poplar log, we only used about a little less than half of those. So I think, uh, I think if we went back and counted it up, we were about 15 to 17 around in there somewhere. We did use up all of our battens so we can mill more of those. But uh, this is gonna be really good. This is gonna keep uh, a lot of weather. It's kind of funny, a lot of leaves were blowing in this way in the loft uh, coming off the mountain here. So this will help close that in. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's may have a little bit of a crooked lean to some of those battens when you're reaching around trying to nail. It makes it tough sometimes. But uh, I think all in all, it turned out pretty good.